Okay, this message is just a general message. This could go for any zodiac sign, anybody. If you are listening to this, you probably need to hear it, so I would definitely listen. The first message I got, card I got, message two, is the hawk. So that's about looking at the bigger picture, paying attention to fine details and the bigger picture. So both, not just little details and not just what's my outcome. You need to pay attention to everything. And from this reading, it's definitely paying attention to the choices that you have in front of you. This could be choices in love. That is a big thing I'm getting with this whole reading. I don't know if somebody's out there having a little fun, but yeah, it could be. <laughs> so this looks like in the past, you were self self-providing you were working hard you were you could have been a mother figure just paying attention to your home um for just making sure everybody's taken care of the next card i got is the seven of cups this is options 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 uh, do you want to pay attention to love do you want to pay attention to money she's looking at all these different cups on here wondering what one I can what one's going to be better for me and I mean there's disaster love passion all these different things so this is also a cup suit so that is a lot about love so that gives me an indication that this whole thing is about love I am getting that the choices that you have, you could be older than both of them. These are people from the past. These are past choices that you had. So there may have been somebody that was a little more logical, a little more rash with the decisions, a little more fast to act on things. And then you had somebody else that was passionate, adventurous, I get Sagittarius from this card a lot. This always reminds me of a Sagittarius card. But somebody that just um, likes to try new things, go on new vacations, go on extravagant, passionate, you know. And these two people both could have came at you at around the same time. And it looks like I also got the Queen of Wands, which it was in between these three. So that would indicate to me that they both look at you like you are just the most beautiful person to them. You are, you are a goddess to both of them. They both felt equally in love with you. <laughs> It looks like in the present, you maybe you lost one of those connections. Maybe one you started to lean more towards and it hurt you. Uh, this could be loss, the loss of anything that's close to the heart. So maybe you were having fun, having options, and some sort of loss happened recently or now. And it left you feeling like you need to keep your guard up, um, especially with love. This is another choice card. So there we go again. Maybe what I'm getting from this is that definitely this loss has just left you keeping your guard up from this, from making any new connections. Uh, even if something did kind of throw yourself at you, especially if it was a Gemini, you're having your guard up about them. The help position is taking control. And when I hear this taking control of the situation, I think of the hawk card because I think it's meaning in a sense of looking at the details of each person. You, you need to pay attention to what's going to make you happier. Who's going to be there for you in the long run? Who's going to be more loving to you or do you want somebody more adventurous? You know, and this could be choosing between somebody now a little older and a little younger. Um, somebody that's a little more sensitive and on the emotional side, and then somebody that's a little more fiery and fast. And um, the older person would be the one that is more fiery and fast and passionate. And this could also indicate you're looking at lust and love. So you could be looking at somebody 
that is definitely more of a sex thing or a passion thing and you're just feeling that in the moment and then there's somebody that is trying to offer you something beautiful and you're not looking at the fine details of the situation. The obstacle card I got is I think that right now you've been kind of just letting the wind take you where it's going to go. This is the fairy wind. This is also the cherry chariot card. That is the can card of cancer. So in this deck, it's the fairy wind though. And that is letting the wind take you where it needs to go. But this is in your obstacle position. So it would tell me that that's been kind of a problem for you. And at this point, you're ready to abandon all these situations, all these options. You're ready to just kind of let it go and start new and decide what you really want in life. You may be having a hard time with feeling any inspiration or hope about the situation. Then, and you may have a hard time, you may be feeling a little bored. That could be a thing too. Maybe you just have, don't feel like you ran into the right option yet. And your guard's up because you don't want to let your guard down unless you know it's the right one. But one of these is the right one. <laughs> That's for sure. That's what this tarot is saying. The The future card I got, possible outcome, not future, is the Seeker of Visions. This could be a younger, more sensitive, more artistic, more passionate person. They, I think through this whole thing, because they show up numerous times throughout the reading, there may be arguments that you guys get into. There may be issues between what you guys like, your interests. Maybe you guys are having a hard time harmonizing. But you also got that with these two cards here. This, These have kind of similar meanings in this deck, which is kind of weird. But this is about a conflict that is just too much, too much to put your energy into. This is about knowing when to back down and knowing when not to fight. So these cards are, are like, hey, if you're getting in arguments because of your defensive behaviors or defensive actions, it's time to just look at the bigger picture and, and say, hey, is that really worth the energy? Is this really worth all this? And what should I pay attention to? Should I pay attention to other things and just abandon this whole situation? I think that you could also be having a big decision between love and work as well. Maybe you're wanting to grow your finances and grow where you're at, but you also want that contentment and happiness and family and just feeling good with each other. It's a lot of, once again, decisions. Which road, which path are you going to take? You have been investing a lot of time into this I can see or eventually you will and I think once you start paying attention to little details either between two lovers or little details on if you if this is worth your energy or not you'll you're going to pay attention to that or Tara wants you to Tara wants you to take control of of this situation and and look at it clearly don't be too suspicious. Just follow your intuition. It looks like this very well could be these two cards are both Pisces cards. So maybe you end up with the Pisces. Maybe you get through this fight and you end up with the Pisces and it makes you very happy. And you follow your gut on them. This could also be following your gut rather than your fears on your love. So I think that this is something internal that you would have to look at. I did see the this one card that kept popping out. And it's about, you know, looking inside and kind of deciding what what's worth what. And I think that if you really tune into your gut and pay attention who who has hurt you and who hasn't who has shown actions that show that they wouldn't be a good match with you and who has 
shown you that they would be perfect for you. You know, um, just don't get lost in your fears. That's a big thing about the moon card, that it's, it's staying a lot into those fears. So be careful of that as well. Now, let's see. Definitely, yep, you got the Eight of Challenges under this deck, which is taking the blindfold off. So looking at things clearly. You know, you, you need to just uh, take that off and see who's better. Two of Cups. This is definitely totally about love. I didn't even mean for a love reading to happen, but it did. And that's about a connection. Um, just a very spiritual and twin flame card. Two also <laughs> decisions. So, um, And then we got the King of Swords. Definitely, once you figure it out, act fast on it. Act fast on it. And show them that you are uh, dedicated and you're here to, you know, bring them what they need as well. The zodiac signs I'm seeing through this, definitely Cancer has come up, Scorpio, uh, Pisces, <laughs> so all water signs. You know, there's the, hmm, let's see, Gemini, Aquarius, Sagittarius. So yeah, if this resonates or um, any of those signs have to do with your situation, I would definitely pay close attention. And, and look at the bigger picture, follow your gut, and figure out who makes you happier. All right, have a good night.